What's up guys? In today's video, I'm back with some more Minecraft Mondays. In this episode, we are going to be venturing off the map to a whole new section that we haven't even explored yet of the world. There's a lot of mobs that way. We're going to take the back road around to the dock and we're going to be sailing past the jungle over across the river that we saw in the last episode, past the jungle and into new land. This should be fun, so let's go get this. If you haven't seen the last episode, I made this little farm area. It's actually doing really well and it looks really good. Ooh, the bamboo's growing really high. And yeah, I got a little desert with the crops, bamboo. Not sure what to put here yet. We'll find it out in the future. I got these um, cocoa beans and then melons. Wait, I know what I could put here. I could put some pumpkins here. We'll do that in a later date though. For now, we got stuff to do. Let's head down to the dock and let's sail off to the new adventure. Here we go. All right, the jungle is in our sight. As you can see, we're gonna be headed down southwest today across that little like river lake thing. And we're gonna explore, so this should be fun. Now we just got to get through this little jungle area, and we should be ready to go. Oh man, I also brought a new map with me, so I can get new charted territory. Well, uncharted right now, but it will be charted soon. So, this should be fun. I'm really excited for today's episode. Let's get it. Whoa, this is cool. It's like the Amazon River. <gasps> Ocelots! Oh man, they're so cool. Oh, look at them. They're cute. Alright, now let's come this way. There's the bamboo that I got last episode. And the sun is slowly setting. So we can just make our way this, this way. See some chickens on our sights. And now, as soon as we pass the jungle, we're into uncharted territory. Oh boy. This is gonna be strange. Okay. Three. Two. One. Well, once we hit that land... Then we'll be in uncharted territory. Oh my goodness, it's like a little coral area over here. That's cool. I like the coral. That is actually really cool. It's just a small little area. But it's nice. Now we are officially off the map. Time to start a new one. Oh, what? What is this? Is this showing me, like... What's around here? What is this? What is this small little map? Why am I not on it? Did I craft something wrong? Dang, I think I crafted something wrong. Ah, uh, oh well. Let's just keep on moving because I don't have the paper anymore. Dang it. We're gonna head through this acacia biome and see what we can find. And now I'm currently off the map. Just glad I know my way back. And I have a spyglass, so we should be all set. I crafted that before the episode started, so that way we can see further ahead of us. Like, what's up there? I don't know. Check it out. Anything good? Nope. What the heck is happening? Why? <laughs> why were they fused? Ooh, there's a jungle. There's a new one that I haven't seen yet. It's kind of cool. I see that way over there because... Yup, that's a tall jungle tree if I do say so myself. Let me just eat and we'll be right there. Alright, that was close. I just jumped down from a really tall height into this body of water. Doesn't really seem like there's anything that interesting in here. But what I did see is a cool mesa biome. Which we have been to already, but it extends further, which I did not know about. We've also reached the jungle now. And I saw those steps, they just turned out to be trees that looked like they were like steps or something. Cobblestone stairs or whatever. Some, some form of stair. But, now that we are here, we can look around and see if there's anything interesting. 
like there's forest up there and there's jungle here this is cool it's like mesa to desert to jungle to forest wow i just hope i don't want to go too far without remembering the way back i know it's that way and as we can see on my map one I'm like down to the left. So we can go a little bit further though. Alright, so it looks like there's another canyon. And and the Mesa biome just kind of extends around again. Water bucket. Good. And yeah, so there's not ooh. Don't want to fall down there. There's not really that much here, honestly. Let's see. Anything useful? Is that a village up there? Dang, I can't see. Kinda looks like one, but it kinda looks like trees at the same time. And then there's nothing over that way. It's just desolate. And then we've got this way. I'm gonna test my luck and explore the acacia biome. So we're gonna do that. And maybe end up crossing the river, another river. So, let's see how this goes. Alright, that's a village if I've ever seen one. I literally walked for like 30 seconds to find this thing. Dang, I didn't get it on recording. Oh well, that's a village and I'll take... No, no way. No way. Yeah, I seriously thought that was another village house right there where my plus in the middle of the screen is... I literally thought, if that actually was, I would be, like, so, like, happy. That is crazy. But, at least we found a village, so that's awesome. Is there any way to get around without having to go in the stupid river again? Oh, there is. I can just walk around the side. It's, like, disconnected by... Oh, the canyon stops there. I was gonna say, it's, like, disconnected by two sides. That would have been a cool village to find. Whoa, look at that. It's like a volcano up there. Like some sort of like rock formation. Ooh, iron. More iron. Eight and more iron. That's cool. I might go up there afterwards just to collect the iron. But for now, let's head over to this village. Let's go. I'm so happy we found our fourth village in this Minecraft Monday series so far. That is crazy. Four of them. Like, how do we get so lucky with this world generation? I'm also pretty far off the map. But we can turn around at any moment that we want to. And further just looks like another forest. It's cool. But now we get to loot the village. Let's go. I take the wheat. Yeah, I'm taking the wheat. And whatever this stuff is, beetroots, all right, fine by me, because one of my villagers trades for them. So that's kind of awesome. And let's grab all those. Grab this wheat. I can spend the night in this village, too, because the sun is setting. Plant my bed down on top of this house. And sleep the night. Oh, dang it. Hold on. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it is the morning. There are cats wandering around this village. That's awesome. The grindstone here. Uh, I don't really need that. The house down here. Anything good? Blast furnace. Eh. I can make one of those easy peasy. Oh my god. I do not want to fall down there. Let's just walk away from that. Anything in this house? Oh yes, it is a chest. Leather cap and leather. Leave the cap. Well, that was one of the worst village chests I've literally ever seen. But there's still a few more houses, so maybe we could get our luck redeemed. Ooh, seeds. I'll take those. Thank you very much. And there's even some more. And now we can climb our way up here to this area of the village, which is like the top part. Anything up there? 
Why is there just a stack of melon? Whoa, that's a big lava waterfall if I've ever seen one myself. Oh, oh my god, that all came from one little tiny part of lava. Okay. I mean, I'll take the free melons, because why not? They're melons. Good source of food. And, well, they're melons. Those, thank you. Stack in 26 I have now. Oh yeah, plus all the hay bales. Oh my god, I'm gonna be rich with stuff. Alright, thank you. I should probably have a hoe for doing this, but we'll make it take longer. See you guys when I'm done collecting all these hay bales. Alright, I collected those hay bales. Just another blast furnace. What about in here? Bed. This one has to have something, right? Oh yeah. Ooh, grass. It's like, not good, but it's like a souvenir. So I guess I'll take it. Because you can't actually get that, I don't think. Or is it double tall grass that you can't get? I'm not sure. This house has... Ooh, another chest. More grass, some potatoes. I mean, I guess I'll take it, because why not? Not the best village chests I've seen. Definitely not. But it has a lot of them. Ooh, bucket. They're actually not that bad. I, I, I have seen worse, actually. I don't know how it can get worse than this physically, but it can. So, I, I should probably just be grateful that I found a village, honestly. This way, walk into this house. Steal nothing because they have nothing to steal. Are there any other houses? Except that one across there that I didn't get. I should probably be seeing what these villagers' trades have to offer. Because... It might be good. Leather... For emeralds, and... Coal for emeralds. And iron tools, those aren't that bad. But... Not the best I've ever seen. Ooh, the farmers, they could have good trades. Farmers usually have pretty decent trades to get emeralds. You have... Ooh, yes, beetroots. I can actually use those. Use... Keep my one emerald. Then you, sir, have... What trades do you have? Carrots for emeralds? Nah. Let me just check this house, and then I think that's everything. If it is, we will move on to whatever we find next. Let's go. There's a chest with an emerald. Leather pants that I don't need. All right. That is everything except that farm up there, which I don't ne really need. So, that is everything for this village. Let's keep moving on. I kind of want to go further, honestly. In my opinion, I think it would be fun to go a little further, at least. Just to say we went far off the map. And this stupid map that I crafted doesn't work. No, it's the other one that doesn't work. So, I guess we're just gonna have to see. I think if I want it like this one, I think I might need a compass, which would mean I'd need for a lo empty locator map, which this one is, because it's map one. Pretty sure that's empty locator map, because it has my location. Is that a ruined portal I just saw out of the corner of my eye? Nope. Does not look like it. Now let's go over this mountain and see what we can find. All right, guys. So I've been exploring for a while. I'm on top of a, like a little peak right now and I found some interesting stuff. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Another mine shaft. Let's count. So I found one, two, three, this is, I think, my fourth mineshaft in the series. I'm probably going to find one more, because mesas are the biome that has the most mineshafts. So, let's go explore it real fast. Then I want to go to the top of that little, like, mountain range to see what's on the other side. Alright, let's get to that mineshaft.
All right, we just entered and we already found a mineshaft or a minecart. Oh goodness, it's another dungeon with skeletons. Oh god, oh god. Um, blocks, 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 blocks. Uh, uh. Yep. Block it off. Hey, buddy. Nice. Okay. Loot this. We got some torches, which I need. Another name tag. Let's go. Pumpkin seeds. Oh my god, my inventory is already full. Um, red sand. Go. Um, bread. Oh yeah, those weren't potatoes earlier. Those were bread. And activator rails, which I don't need. Okay. Got this one. And break this. That one. Get through, get the string. Okay. Go, go, go. Break the string. And... Lit it. I think we're safe now. Unless they can spawn through. Now, is there anything in this dungeon? No, there is not. So that's just another mob spawner. Down. Now, we go this way. See if there's anything cool over here. Nothing this way. All right, I'll see you guys when I find something or nothing. All right, guys, I looted most of the mine shaft and that was really the only chest I could find. So now it's time to head over that hill and see what we can uncover, if there's anything to uncover. So let's do this. All right, well, this is one of the coolest images I've ever seen in a while. This was what I found right over the hill. And it is incredible. Look at these peaks. They are insane. So, what else do we do but explore them? Here we go. Let's go see what we can find. Oh my god, I just found the, one of the biggest dripstone caves I've ever seen. That is crazy, dude. Look at that thing. There's just... Oh my god, this is incredible. Wow, I can't believe we're almost through it already. I felt like such a short period of time walking through all these peaks and jagged caves. This looks inc incredible. Oh my god. Crazy. Look at down there. Oh my god. I don't really want to go down there because if I fall onto dripstone, I kind of die. So, yeah, that's not really fun. So, we're just gonna head this way, and we're gonna see what is over here, on this side of the peaks. Well, jungles are supposed to be rare, but I don't suppose they are in this world. This is, what, my third or fourth jungle I've seen? And my second or third this episode? And this is crazy. Look at that little panda. So cute. And all right, this is this is getting out of hand. Just wandering for ages. Where am I on the map? Okay, so I'm moving. So I just have to when I want to. <gasps> Ooh, ruin portal. That's the second best thing I've seen all day. I think. Cause actually, yeah, it's better than the mine shaft. It's honestly gonna have better loot. Maybe I hope. Please come on, please come on, please come on. Have better loot. Have better loot. The apple, not that bad. And a bunch of iron nuggets. Take those over terracotta. Golden boots for some pumpkin seeds. And a golden chest plate for... Mm, carrots. Alright, that wasn't that bad. Portal's almost ready to go. Ooh, yeah, don't forget the gold block. Never forget the gold block. Gold block is awesome. I could throw down my, mm, what should I throw down? My one rail that I have for this gold block. Yes, let's go. Where's the sun? Setting rapidly. Ooh, there's a desert. There could be a desert temple over there. 
I'd rather take my luck with the desert than with the jungle. So, let's go see what is over here in this desert. Oh boy, I'm excited. I hope we find something cool. So, so far I found this desert temple, but with the new update, oh dang, can I make a brush? How do I make a brush? I need to see all and go down to brush. Because if I can make a brush, that means I can go through this suspicious sand. Oh man. Why is this so short, this crafting menu? How do I make a brush? How can I not find it? It would be an equipment, right? No? Items? All right, well, I guess I gotta Google how to make a brush because this is not telling me. So I will be right back. Okay, so one, I just realized I was being very stupid and I was just the, that wasn't the, I didn't have a crafting table. And two, to make a brush, back to, two, you need a feather, coppering it, and a, what's it called? Stick. So I already have the stick. Now I need the copper ingot and the feather. First objective is to find a chicken. That's gonna be the hardest one. I know it doesn't seem that hard, but it's gonna be the hardest, so I'm gonna get that out of the way first. So just all this, just so I can sift through some suspicious sand. Why do I do this? It's for the content, that's why. Okay, come on. Gotta be somewhere around here. <gasps> Chicken! Give me a feather. Give me a feather. Gave me a stupid chicken leg. Are you serious right now? Bruh. Where's that chicken that I need? Where's that chicken that will give me a feather? Where is this chicken? Or copper. I need a cave or a chicken. Give me a cave or a chicken. <gasps> chicken! Give me the chicken. Another stupid chicken leg. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now? Hopper? Is that a chicken? Or is there any copper? Probably not. This looks deadly and dangerous. That's a very scary noise. I do not like. Grab this copper and iron and get out of here. Now the main goal is just to find a chicken. That is all I want right now. He's a chicken. There's three. One of them better drop a feather. Yes! Thank you, chicken. Thank you so much. What do I need to get rid of? Um, I don't need these stupid 26 melons. Why would I need 26 melons? Drop. Yes. Yes, I can make a brush. I need a crafting table. Um, throw my torches on the ground for right now. I'm gonna leave this here anyways. Um, pick these back up. Now. Six. What do I need? Oh yeah, I need stupid stone, that's right. I need to go to bed too. I'll put it right there. Down a little bit so I can craft a furnace by getting some stone. Go to sleep. Sleep, I said. Come on, hold on. This'll be a second, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh my god, yes, we have the brush. It took ages. I don't even wanna say how long it took. To find that stupid chicken but we actually did it now let's just get back to the place we need to go that desert well let's sift through this sus suspicious sand and let's get out of here because that's literally the one thing i spent probably 15 minutes for is a piece of suspicious sand i don't even know how many are supposed to be in a desert well it might just be one piece but at least it's something, and it's something from the new update, so I am happy about that. So, 
Let's go get that suspicious sand. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna sift through our first pieces of, of suspicious sand. What do we get, what do we get? Is it seriously a stupid piece of coal? What is that? What is that? It's a brick. Are you actually kidding me right now, bro? Is that the only thing? Oh no, there's more suspicious sand. Okay. No way that's a pottery shard. No way. Okay, I gotta clear the water out of here. This is stupid. There's too much water. Um, dirt. No absolute way. You gotta be kidding me right now. That is awesome. We just got our first pottery shard. I am so happy. Cause you did not know how long it took me to get that stupid chicken, okay? Anyways, enough about the chicken. Let's get that pottery shard. Um, I don't need some stupid grass. Where is it? Pottery shard obtained. Go! Any other suspicious sand anywhere? Oh, that's sandstone. Any more? Anywhere? Is that it? Is there only two in a desert well? No, that can't be it. I mean, the sandstone goes down further. Does that mean the suspicious sand goes down further? I don't think so. I think that's it. But that is still awesome, because that means now there's only three more pottery shards for us to find until we can actually craft a pot. And that is, for me, a win. All right. So... Let's start heading back to base. I don't know if we'll be able to do it all in this one video, but if not, I can definitely certainly do it off camera too, part of it. So we're just gonna see how far we can get in like 10 minutes. See you guys then. Well, I spot a second ruined portal on the horizon. That's awesome. It's just another thing to add to the things we found today. So I'm actually really happy with all the stuff that we found. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually really is. We got a pottery shard, we got a brush, we got the um, ruin portal that's floating on an island on water. That's cool. I'm gonna actually get like a picture like that. Maybe like here. Oh yeah. Diamond pickaxe. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, let's see what this has to offer. Ow, stupid. Okay, iron nuggets. Golden axe, that is perfect, that golden axe. And then, um, I'm gonna leave the brick. I don't really need it. Now I have a fire charge. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for, but it's cool to have. So now, let's just keep on heading home. Let's keep running and see how far we can get in the next let's see seven minutes no way no absolute way that that's got to be a the same village right 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 come on now did i just find my second village this episode no way i i i, I what i i have no words like seriously Bruh. I just found my second village this episode. Oh my god. It's a pretty small village, but it looks epic. It's like there's a cliffside hanging over with a little waterfall. Oh man. That is so awesome. Hold my new brush. Just admire the view from that. Oh my god. That is awesome. It's crazy good. Let's go. Pull out my map. All right. Well, let's head over to the other side. There was nothing in that house, but we could go over there. Maybe there's part of it around the mountain. Never know. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more. Oh, my God. This is crazy, dude. Oh, my God. This is epic. 
epic. I cannot actually believe what I'm seeing right now. This is insane. Dude, look at this. What do I have? Emeralds? Gold nuggets? Seeds? Double tall grass! Oh my god. That's like one of the rarest items in the game that you can actually get from a, a village. Because that's the only way you can get it, is double tall, du double tall grass from a village. Oh my god, I am insanely lucky. Double tall grass might not seem like an important item. I got two! Well, it's maybe not one of the rarest, but it's definitely like... Not a lot of people get double tall grass. Not like a very common thing. Because it, you can, it can only be found in Acacia Villages. Yo, let's go. This one's so much better. And I have four emeralds, so when I get home, I can trade with my villagers. That's awesome. Let's go. All right, get up, get up. Now we can investigate what's up here. An extra little village house this side with a chest. More, okay, maybe it's not that common or not that rare. I have four double tall grass, but I'm gonna definitely keep that because that is very cool. Most of these houses have chests. It's really, really cool. And is that every house? That is every house in this village. Oh my God, I am so lucky. Bro, I cannot believe that. That is amazing. I found another village. Oh, here's the bell area. And this is like the little market with hay bales for me to get. Let's go. Stealing all the hay bales. Not stealing, permanently borrowing. Sorry, I, I have to keep using that phrase. Let's take all these. As soon as we're done grabbing the hay bales, we will head back. All right, that was a very cool village. And now we are headed back to the base. We are not stopping unless it's something very cool or very important like another village, which I don't think we will find. But that is one epic village. It's not the best loot I've ever seen, but it is very, very cool. Just because of the fact that it's like on its own little like island, its own little like civilian island. That is so cool. Is this it? Did I actually make my way back onto the map? Oh my god, yes. I think this is it. I think this is where I make my way back onto the map. Here we go, we're gonna find out. In about, like, 30 seconds. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes, I'm on the map, let's go. I did it. I made my way back to the jungle. All we have to do is get to the base. That is it. Nothing else. Just get to the base as fast as possible so that way we can get home and dump all my stuff in the chest there it is the fort and it looks so cool i really love it and we're just gonna keep on upgrading it from here on out so there's a farming district with the bamboo that's cool now we are almost home just a little bit longer come on we can do it I know we can. And park at the dock. Oh my god, we're out of the boat. Just gotta go around because there's lots of mobs on the side entrance. So we're just gonna go around. I hope none of my mobs or villagers despawned. I know the ones that I gave name tags to don't. Actually, that's all my villagers and my dogs. So I think we're safe. What about my llamas? My llamas are still here. So that's good. Why are they frozen? They're all just frozen. <laughs> okay, well, I guess they're not frozen. Hello, Joseph. Wait, who do I want to trade with? It's Jeremy. I mean, Jimmy. God, I keep calling him Jeremy. Where's Jimmy? Jimmy, where are you? Gotta find him. Oh, Jimmy, here we go. So, aw, oh, dang it. I need 15 emeralds and a book. 
for looting two. That's a ripoff. What about Kyle? Does he have any good trades? Nine roll for two redstone. Nah. Thanks so. though. All right, let's get inside. Wow, that was a very successful trip. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one.